all right everybody how y'all doing this morning welcome back to my channel my name is ronald all right everything looking good for my fantasy football baby yes 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 i got my second win baby and it's going on and popping i am loving it i had a tough team to beat but i beat them and um it was great you know i got a little confidence but just like i said i'm in a long long trip it's not over with yet but if I keep winning, I could probably make the lower seeds in the playoffs. And <clears throat> I mean by the lower seeds of the playoffs, that means that I could go ahead on and, um, you know, play two games instead of one. Or I just don't make it at all. But I'm happy I got my second win so far. I'm now 2-5. and five, And I'm moving right along in, in a good, in a good, good direction. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the scores and highlights of the game. And um, we go ahead and see. I played Nightcrawlers as I spanked them 118.64 to 107.42. Let's go ahead and get into the scores and highlights. Alrighty. Nightcrawler got spanked 107.42 by me, old big daddy team. Clean scale, yes sir. 118.64. Alrighty. He had Derek Carr, gave him 1902. DeAndre Seth was his, his powerhouse from Detroit. So I got my eyes on him, so he might be on my team next year. He got 28.4. Derek Henderson got 19.4. Curry Davis, 14.7. Marquez Callaway, 6.2. Mark Andrews got 7.8. Aaron Jones got 8.9. That's his flex. Cardinals defense scored 11.0. Hmm, Cardinals got a team this year. And the kicker from Denver, Brandon McConnus. McManus. Two points. His bench didn't do too good. You know, he had a lot of buys. Um, Shaquan Broccoli must be injured. Um, he got zero points. Moving on down to AJ Dillon. Got zero. My negative, 0 0.2. And Denver Bronco defense scored only three points, which gave him a total of 2.8. Now moving on to my team. Yes, sir. Tom Brady had a great, great day. Giving me 24.44 points. Khalid Herbert, another good day for him. 18.3 Melvin Gordon did 11.2 Brandon Cooks mm, it's kind of issue iffy right now because Brandon Cooks my powerhouse he was held checked to only 7.1 he was projected to score 17.4 I was looking for him to go ahead and score about 18 and 19 points or at least one or two TDs that didn't happen Jalen Waters continued to have a good rookie year he Projected to get me 14.2, but he out muscled me and got me 15.3. Noah Font got me 8.9. Jacoby Myers, he was muscled to get 12.7, which I thought he was going to get me 13.5, but he only muscled 19.4. The Buccaneers defense was on a rampage. Having 18 points and Chase McCoughlin, 6 points, giving me a total of 118.64. My bench, you know, Rocker Constance said injured. Chris Carson won't be back until the Green Bay game because of his neck injury. Lamar Jackson had a great game as they lost against Cincinnati. 17 to 41. He got he must have 23.8. Kenyon Drake had a great game. And I left I left I left some points on the bench. Big time. Now that would have edged me out a lot, but I didn't expect Kenyon Drake to have a good game like that. He posted got 7.6, but he must have 16.9. Cowboys was on the bye week. Hunter Renfro, just like you said, he projected 12.8. He got 12.8. And Sammy Perron was supposed to get 14.8, but he must have 14.5. Which gave me my bench 67.28, which is not bad. But other than that, you know, if I wouldn't sleep on these players right here, then I would my score would have been a whole lot better. But since 
their projection was low. I basically slept on them. So I, you never know, have to say. Always go by your gut feeling when you putting your players in the game for the fantasy league. Because if you don't, you're gonna be missing out. And see, I missed out on on, on great points here. So enough said. Let's get on with the rest of the scores and highlights. Team Thick Pen and Team Furco. Team Thick Pen beat Team Furco 138.48 to Team Furco 117.46. And the Crapper D. Martini lost to D. High Quality 820, 132.94 to 115.36. Team Twos <laughs> lost against Team Roberts. Yes, he did. 126.84 to 119.84. That was a good game. Edged them by seven points. Um, about 17 points. Yeah, but no, about seven points. My bad. And last but not least, Team Powell is still winless. He is 0-7. He lost to Team Virts, who is now 6-1. 126.14 to 69.3. Yes. I'm, I'm happy to go ahead and get that win. I'm 2-5. and five. You know, I started off rough. I thought I was going to go ahead and finish rough like Team Powell, but so far, everything is moving in the right direction for me. Now, I just got to go ahead and focus on win number three. Yes. Let's go to the league to see where we all stand at. Right now... I am basically sitting fifth, and it's not bad. Yes, I'm still stuck in fifth place. My playoff chance is still stuck at 1%. Team Fritz is in the lead with six wins, one loss. D. Hawkwati 82 is in second with four wins and three losses. Team Roberts is in third with four wins and three losses. Team Perko. It's fourth with three wins and four losses. And old Big Daddy Me, Team Cleans gets to the bottom with two wins and five losses. Four games behind. 1% chance of making the playoffs. And on the west end, Team Thick Pen with five wins and two losses. Night Crawler with four wins and three losses. And the Crapper D. Martini, four wins, three losses. Um, team Tools is at three wins, four losses, and Team Pilot is still winning this. Zero wins and several losses. Now, let's go to now. I do play. I do play. Team Tools. Yes, I do. For week number eight, I play Team Team Powell. He's the, like I said, he's winless, but you cannot go sleep on a winless team because they might come back and might sweep it from you. So I got to get ready for that there. Um, D High Quality H2O play Team Thick Pan. Team Roberts play in the crap of D Martini. Team First play Team Tools. And Team Franco play Nightcrawler. Yes. And I'm looking good for this matchup with um, Team Powell. Yes, I am. And I can't wait because you never know. You know, I, like I said, I'm going for win number three. And I ain't, I'm not going to sleep on this. So I got to go ahead and get ready. This is a Thursday night football game. So I got to make sure I got my right players in to go ahead and get me a jump start. If not, then I just have to wait to Sunday. And, you know, I can't go wrong with that. Though. So I kind of like it. I'm in the right direction. But just like I said, I'm not going to sleep on Team Powell because he's looking for his first win of the season. And um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can, give him, can keep him at that winless mark. But just like I said, you cannot sleep on a winless team. Even though you're on the road, but still, if you get caught sleeping, that's when that that's when you're gonna go ahead and make your little mistakes and it's over. Alrighty. I mean just like I said, I'm gonna go make some changes. Let me go to my team. So I got everybody lined up right. Make sure I ain't got nobody on bye weeks. 
so far everything looking good I don't know about Brandon Cooks he's lucky he having a bad game this year he had two bad games you know he ain't had been he ain't been reaching his margin points so and we know Brandon Cooks is an um, end zone threat so so he's not been for balling good so that's a big question Kankonski is listed as questionable so I'm gonna go ahead and check his status because I can't use him against a New Orleans game that's Brady go-to guy. Um, Cowboys play Minnesota. I got Lamar Jackson, Kenyon Drake, and Hunter Renfro's on bye weeks. And Sammy, they play the New York Jets. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, I think Sammy going to have a good game. So I'm going to put him in. That's my flex. Jalen Waldo is playing Buffalo. That's a big question mark right now because his projection is supposed to have 12.28. I could use that in week eight. But we'll see. He's been doing good. You know, he's been averaging his only week games with Tampa Bay where they just shut him down to 5.3. And ended up is where he had 6.3 because the old line wasn't giving Briscoe enough time to throw the ball and find his playmakers down the field. But Jacksonville, he had a great game, averaging two TDs. Um, Atlanta, no touchdowns, but he was targeted eight times. And he must with 83 yards. I mean, he, he's getting, he getting the ball. He knows what he's doing. But just like I said, the offensive line guy for the Dolphins got to give um, Tua enough time to throw the ball. The offensive line got to block so y'all could go ahead and have a balanced attack offense. So, you know, you could go ahead and do a little play action here and there. And then you could go ahead on and um, go go deep down the field to um, Waddle and uh, Parker when he gets back in the game or whoever's the deep threat. For the Dolphins on the side, but other than that, Dolphins really needs to go ahead on there and pick up the trenches on the O line. And then I'm, I'm talking about the coaches as well too, because if the coach plays soft, the team players will play soft. So the coaches have to wake it up and do something to go ahead and get out that slump they dug themselves in. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave everything as is. Right now, Brandon Cooks is a question mark. I might just go ahead and put Jacoby Myers back in. He's supposed to suggest to get me 13 points. He's been he's been a good target. Um, he's been a good target. Here's on my projection: Brady get me 20.9, Hubert 14.3, Melvin Gordon 11.4, Brandon Cooks 15.3, and they played the LA Rams. Um, Waldo played Buffalo. He posted his projection is 12.3. Noah Font is 11.4. Sammy Perron is 8.2. Now he might get more because they're playing against the um, New York Jets defense. But you cannot go sleep on that defense. But I think he's going to have a good game. Tampa Bay is going to give me 6.4. And Chase McLaughlin is 8.0. Giving me 108.2 to his projection. He supposed to beat me, edge me by 0.3 points. He supposed to score 108.05, and I score 108.20. So it's it's more averaging. No, that's me. My bad. It's more averaging. So because on that perspective, let's go to the projection to see what my team's supposed to score. They giving me last week projection. I don't want that. I want next week. So let me go out. Go to schedule. There we go. So right now, I add the edge of me by one point. And he got a good team. He got Hubert, which is a good quarterback. Taylor, 
supposed to give me 17, so it's big hitters right here. But just like I said, the projection, um, sometimes they make, sometimes they may, um, make, um, make their projections, and sometimes they don't. His flexes on their flex is questionable, so that's on both sides. Our flexes is not really doing too much, but I'm expecting Sammy Perron to have a good game. So, um, other than that, this is interesting. He's looking for his first win, and I'm looking for my third win. So, this is very interesting here. And right now, he edge on the quarterbacks is all on his side. And on my side, I got Waddle and Sammy Perrine and the Bucks defense. So, everything is on his side. But we'll see. I'm going to make some changes to my roster league, go ahead and, you know, put some good play healers in the game, and um, other than that, we're just going to go ahead and get this thing on and popping. Alrighty, I, I want to say, I want to thank y'all for watching this segment of my uh, fantasy league from ESPN, yes, my sports is on and popping this year, and I cannot complain about that, you know how it is, you know, like I always said, trust me, I got this, yes, I do, but, um, this year, it's going to be interesting for um, week eight. So I just got to go ahead on and make some changes. I'm going to get on that there right now. I pretty much ain't got nobody playing for Thursday because Thursday night game is um, is Green Bay and Arizona. I have nobody from Arizona, and Arizona is seven and zero, and Green Bay is six and one. So that'd be an interesting matchup. For Thursday and um we'll see thank y'all for watching hit the like button if you like this video subscribe for more sports fantasy content and um scores and highlights etc and I'll see you in the next one peace